one from Hampton Roads, uh, knows, certainly knows of the next speaker. He's the founder of uh, Freedom Ministries and broadcasts faith in the uh, Freedom for Radio show in the Hampton Roads area. David Allen Carmichael. Right. Folks, I've uh, been called to give you the Christian perspective. I've uh, been studying this real ID, and I saw the cradle begin in 1943. Executive Order 9397 by Franklin Delano Roosevelt said, in the interest of economy and administration, and a, an interest to move toward a single, unique, identif personal identification number for the sake of government convenience, he instituted that all departments of the federal government shall use solely the Social Security number as an identification number. Now, not every agency put that to work. It wasn't even a mandate, though it was couched in mandatory terms. Even as we talk about, what about this federal mandate? I'll be saying something in a few seconds. It is not a man, uh, mandate, it's a deception. And in the Virginia Constitution, Article 1, Section 16, it actually says it's a mutual duty of all Virginians to practice Christian love, forbearance, and charity. It is that Christian obligation that we love our neighbor as ourself because we have a duty to love God first. And so I'm here, and I've been putting my life on the line for the sake of this real ID that began in 1943. In 1961, the IRS began to use it as a sole identification number for tax purposes. In 1974, the Privacy Act began was uh, actually enacted to be effective January 1st. 1975, the bad thing, it was a counterproductive because every rush, everybody rushed out and began using the SSN as a unique personal identification number so they'd be grandfathered into not being affected by the Privacy Act. In 1996, the Congress came out with a deadbeat dad law. Title 42 of the Health and Human Services Code, Section 666, says that all states shall require an applicant for an application for any driver's license, professional license, occupational license, marriage license, or recreational license that the applicant's social security number, yes, section 666 of the Health and Human Services Code. In fact, now watch this. Now doesn't that just give you the heebie-jeebies if you read Revelation chapter 13? And this number of that you can't do anything in the ordinary course of life and business without embracing it as your unique personal identification number. There's no law that says that a social security account number shall be a person's unique identification number. So I got the heebie-jeebies, folks, and I've been living, and I've overcome the heebie-jeebies, and I've been standing against the real ID ever since 1996, even to my hurt, and we had a federal case and we prevailed and David Allen Carmichael versus the United States by the, by the grace of God. And we're still at work. Last week in the John Marshall Courts building, I watched while the Assistant Attorney General said that Section 666 trumps the recent law enacted by the General Assembly that provides religious freedom protection restored to Virginia. It restored what happened in 1986 over Bowen versus Roy, an SSN case, began the catastrophe of where the, the states abandoned what they call strict scrutiny, where they realized that if you've got a duty to Almighty God, the government has no authority over that. They must submit to it that there is one nation under God. And that was the old rule prior to an SSN case in the USN, US Supreme Court. Virginia opposed that, I believe it was in 2007, enacting a law that just last week the Assistant Attorney General said this 666 trumps this religious protection law in Virginia. Folks, if we cannot stand with religious freedom against an administratively convenient SSN, how are we going to stand against real ID when it's given under the color of national security? Folks, on our radio show we talk about the issues of the day on a constitutional basis, a biblical basis, a basis of right versus wrong. I say our freedom comes in proportion to our faith. And I have a duty to all of you, because I love you as my neighbor, that I am committed to stand against real ID even at my own hurt for your sake. I, I ask you to consider the Virginia Constitution and its admonition that we all practice this Christian love, forbearance, and charity, and, uh, and just give each other our lives. Greater love hath no man than this, that he give his life for a friend. 
So I thank you for your sacrifice even coming here today. In Jesus' name, amen.